as was felt several blocks away and has left buildings and roads closed. Three people have been taken to hospital. None of them, though, are in a critical condition. The explosion happened at 6.30 a.m. local time when the streets were largely empty. Police were at the scene and they had called the bomb squad. It was only then that the explosion happened. As also responded, they encountered an RV that had a recording uh, saying that a potential bomb would detonate uh, within 15 minutes. Officers, upon hearing that, decided to evacuate the buildings uh, nearby. So they uh, began knocking on doors, making announcements, having a, a emergency communication, communicate with everyone to get people uh, safe. Uh, shortly after that, uh, the RV exploded. Shahab Ratanti is following developments from Washington. We had some information from police in that statement they made, Shahab, but not a great deal of, not much detail. We do have that timeline now, though, that around 5.30 a.m. local, so 11.30 GMT, they got a call on the 911 line saying gunshots had been reported in the area. That's why police were in the area investigating this report. We don't know whether gunshots were actually fired or not, but that's when they encountered this vehicle, where, uh, apparently, that was broadcasting these warnings for residents to evacuate. Then, subsequently, as the bomber squad was, was on its way, as you mentioned, the vehicle did detonate, but actually many people had managed to be, be evacuated from, from the surrounding buildings. It's an area of shops and restaurants and bars and is adjacent to an AT&T switching center. And actually, we just got a report from AT&T that a large section of their cell service in the region is now down as a result of the explosion. There is damage to the building that, that houses that their switching center. So the explosion did occur, but there were only, apparently, at least as far as we can tell right now, only minor casualties, three casualties with, with minor injuries. However, we just heard from the authorities saying they're combing through the buildings now to make sure that no other, there are no other injuries amidst, amidst the rubble. But it is all very mysterious. It was a major explosion. The, feet, the, the, the blast was felt kilometers away. We have lots of social media evidence of that. Uh, but, but still a complete mystery as to who may be behind this. And we saw the FBI, the local police, pleading with citizens, local citizens, to give them any leads. We know that they're looking at the CCTV footage as to when this, this vehicle was, was, was parked in the area. Right. So, as you say, a significant explosion. The police say it's intentional. The FBI are involved. Any political reaction, Chab, from, from the governor or, or from the president? We know that the Attorney General has, has, has says he's going to give the full resources of the Department of Justice to, to this investigation. The FBI has now taken the lead, and we know that President Trump was briefed on the explosion. He's currently at Mar-a-Lago in Florida. We understand he was briefed, but, but the DOJ was certainly taking a, a lead in the, in the investigation. They, were, they had their representative there speaking at the press conference just an hour ago. We're expecting another press conference, though, in the next hour or so.